Hey everyone, this is Python here and in this video I will be showing you the new project made using the Swing library of Java. Uh, this is the book inventory management system. Um, let me run this program. You can see here uh, it is made using the Java X Swing. So this is just to confirm that this is made using the Swing library. Let's run this program. The first time if we run this program, um, we'll be getting the interface to connect our database here. And for this you have to run your database server. If you are using, um, you must use the MySQL server in order to use that because I have integrated the URL of the MySQL and also I have installed the packages of the MySQL server. So make sure you are using the mysql server in this and after running the mysql server you can run this program for the first time if you run this program then it will ask you the basic credential in order to connect with the database and this will be just for the first time if you are running this program for the second time and then it will not show this window instead it will show the login screen and if if you try to log into the system right now so it says please connect database first so we have to connect the database if i provide the, the wrong key then it will show that this is connection here so we have to provide and in my case i haven't set up any password for my database as i am using xamp so let's click on the submit button and yeah you can see here the connection is successful and all the table and the database is created successfully we are even not creating the database using the create database this uh, we are creating everything from the program so after clicking on the ok uh, yes we will set up the admin login now in this project i haven't set up the otp verifications but we can do that uh, it's very easy to do that so uh, for now we yeah, are a dummy email will be working but you have to give the proper uh, first of all let's fill on our fields all right and you can see the password here but you have to give the email is is email is invalid so you have to give the proper format of the email like vivek at rate um, gmail.com so now Clicking on the submit, the account created successfully, and the login screen pop up. Uh, as you can see, I will again run this program. Mm, let's wait. Yeah, the login screen is pop up. So we can even register our admin from here, and now. We can log in so let's log in using the current seal that we used before we can forget also so after logging to the system this admin dashboard will come this dashboard is dynamic like we have created only one admin while setting up the project so it is showing one and if we'll add or create another admin then it will uh, uh, update the data according to that and similar to this uh, we have two tables books and publisher and if we will add the data in the book or publisher table the data will be updated uh, from the zero to the how many publishers or how many books we have in the table between the book and publisher a uh, one book can have a one level publisher and you know, and one publisher can have multiple books so there is in between the books and publisher there is many to one relations so uh, let's start by adding uh, by being the another sections like we have in the book if you click on the book then this drop down will occur like this is not just the drop down this is uh, we have maintained a hierarchy here like uh, the book have two section uh, aid book and the view book so uh, if we click on the aid book button then it will show the form to aid book 
and here we we can see that the book publisher is MPT because we have this is dynamic and we haven't updated and we haven't added any publisher in our system so before adding the book we have to add publisher first and if we add these books and this will show in the view book here we can search and share the book uh, so first of all let's uh, add a publisher and from similar to the book uh, we can see the publisher view sections this is uh, created using z table so uh, in the add publisher sections we have a form to uh, add the publisher data so i will write the publisher uh, one publisher one and the publisher i'll simply just write the one this because it will be easier so uh we'll write the publisher email one at the rate publisher.com and we'll write the email or contact number sorry publisher address i'll write kamandu and then i will submit it uh I've, let's click on the view publisher so you can see here we have a publisher data that we just added right now and we, you can see that we have a publisher id column also and but while we are adding the publisher we don't have because it's just because we have auto incremented the publisher id and we have and this is the foreign key also sorry i mean to say the primary key of the stable so uh let's go in the aid book sections and here we can see on the one as a publisher name is showing here because we just created the one uh, in the publisher and then it is showing here because it is dynamic and if we add another publisher like we add publisher publisher i'll name this publisher and the publisher at the rate publisher dot com and publisher Nepal. we can also see here is two publisher now and if we click on the aid book then this two publisher will be showing so let's uh, and uh, another thing this publisher data is updated in the dashboard too we have two publisher here so the data is two and if we click on the add book button now and i will add the physics price will be 200 and edition will be first edition and the publisher date publish date okay publish date will be 2020 0203 and the publisher one uh, book and status available and if we see in the general we have our book is updated here and also in the view book uh, our book will be showing in the j table uh, i will add another book so we can perform search and shirt i will add chemistry and the book price will be 300 and the book edition second published at 2020 04 five and the publisher will be another publisher that is publisher and the uh, book is just will be out of stock this is status is something like if your book is sold and you can uh, um, just update it as a out of stock and if your book is available then you can update it as a available we, we can have personality to update this book so as we can see here this both book that we created right just before is showing here and as you can see in this section there is search by and search by if we click on search by sections then this uh, uh i will say it is j panel because we have created it using j panel the j panel is triggered for the search uh, bar and if we click on the search by then the another j panel uh, which is binded using for the short by will be triggered and if we uh, sort according to the book id uh, this is already sorted so if i click on the descending order then it will sort it according to the descending so if we sort it using the book name in the descending order then the p will be the letter so it is showing on the top 
and if we click on the ascending then it will be short so according to this uh, everything will be short according to that and now if we click on the descending then it will show the in the descending order so if we search now so, so uh, we have uh, here book id so if we click to and search and the two id will be show if we click one then one will be shown and if you click on the view all then all the data and the table will be shown and if we search by the book name then if we write physics and if you search here the physics is shown here. now uh, also we can search by the publisher name too like if we have publisher and it's not showing right now but we have those data so if we click on the search then this publisher will be shown and let's click on the view all as we can see we can update and delete this data too uh, like if we click on this physics and if we change this price to 300 to 400 200 to 400 and if we save here then this will be after click on the viewer this price will be same and if we again update this uh if our book is sold then this might not be uh, available in our store so we can mark it as out of stock and we can see here and the status is out of stock also we can delete this like uh, we'll delete this chemistry then the data is deleted successfully so same goes to the publisher like if we update this capital i will make this capital so it will be showing in the capital now uh, in the book eight book sections also it will be updated with the capital so uh, let's say our data is updated here also like we have just only one book right now we have deleted uh, one book so that data is showing one and this is all for uh, this project uh, hope you enjoyed it but wait let me show you another thing like uh, we can forget this password uh, we can forget this password from here and we can write here and then also we can wipe this data and we can again start the press start the application uh, like are you sure you want to erase all the data yes I want to erase all the data and if we again submit this uh, the same process will repeat like we have to set up the admin and I will bbeg.com username bbeg bbeg so the password is not max okay amazing so if i will log in and so we have just only one admin we don't have any books and publisher because the data is already stand we have our fresh applications this is all for today thank you so much and wait for the tutorial thank you bye bye